Hey everybody, Jason Blue here with Skeeter Boat Center and today I want to give you a little rundown of the new War Eagle model, the 750 Gladiator. A new true flat hull, uh, if you want to say different than their normal Mod V. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of run around here and, and uh, get some action shots of this on the water and kind of give you a breakdown of everything that's inside here and what they've done with this model in comparison to other ones here. So by switching to this other gunnel top, uh, they're able to get rid of the ribs. And that way they're able to splay this out just a little bit more uh, and see like the 648 series. So they consider it to be a, a 750. Uh, and they're measuring that from the tip of the duck bill to the back of the pods. Uh, interior wise, it'd be like a 16 foot length, uh, but width is gonna be a little bit more because they got rid of the ribs and use this top gunnel, they can flare it out just a little bit more. So standard features, you're looking at the standard features of the boat right here. Um, you know, mud motor handrail, that's a new design, uh, different than the old standard, than the standard uh, mud motor handrail. There's a front hatch uh, here just for just storage, just trying to utilize what's there. So another change in the Gladiator model is different style gun box. It's a little bit wider up top, but the door itself actually opens up from the side. Instead of coming up from the top, keeps it a little bit drier able to utilize maybe a little more space out of it too. Got some different handles, uh, a little bit more rigid, you could say. Um, but still, plenty of room to get a gun in there. Um, you know, store the stuff that you actually want to keep dry. There is, there's also a foam seal in here as well uh, to help keep that moisture out of there. So interior wise, they've kept the same philosophy of adding pods on the inside. Opens up the back a little bit. Get your gas tank back here and your battery back here as well. So this year on the accessory panel, and they've got the courtesy lights here. That will also run your duckbill lights up front. Uh, two accessory switches, you can wire anything in there that you want there. And then uh, your navigational anchor light uh, as well. And then just a 12 volt receptacle here, uh, plug in style for those of you that still like to use that spotlight going up into the woods or going through the swamp. For any other questions, or if you ever want to set up a test drive, Check us out online at skeeterboatcenter.com. We got two different store locations, one in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, and one in Ramsey, Minnesota.